Hey everyone, this is Shane with Diamond Scientific, and in this video I'll just be demonstrating a quick run through on taking a reading with your Viasensor G100 model. Some important notes to keep in mind before taking readings are not taking readings in direct sunlight, as this would raise your temperature above its operating range and you would not be able to read the screen. Always using a clean sample filter is key to preserve the inner mechanisms of your device. Not placing the instrument against anything hot while taking readings to prevent getting erroneous or faulty readings. And lastly, not getting it wet. Now before taking any readings officially, it would be in best practice to run through the preliminary checklist found online in the full operation manual. This includes verifying you have the correct date and time set, your battery charged up above 25%, making sure you have memory, always backing up your data to an external source, and of course making sure that your main gases are verified, i.e. running a clean air purge. Now running a clean air purge you'll always want to have a sample filter connected again. The wide end goes just over the intersection of the inlet port as such and you just gently twist it clockwise until it stops and that would be flush. Running the clean air purge you just press the pump key You'll notice the fan icon appear in the right hand side of the screen. You'll always want to run it in an open air or well ventilated space, not necessarily in the office. So once your gases have stabilized, you're ready to move forward. Um, of course, uh, if your machine has been freshly calibrated, not nothing to worry about, but calibrating is sometimes necessary if your gases won't stabilize. So. Um, once you're ready to take your reading, you connect your sample tube to the sample filter, just as such, not overpressing it to protect, again, the inlet port, um, and then running the other end of your sample tube to wherever your sample is. So then you press the pump key once more, allowing it to run anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute or otherwise as long as it takes for the gases to stabilize that you're taking a sample from. Once that is done, once you're stable, you can deactivate the pump by pressing store and you are then, you can see I'm prompted to enter an ID which would be the case if I'd gone through and set an individual ID per uh, say a corresponding sample point uh, if you have multiple incubators or what and then once you've entered your ID you just hit enter and you get the confirmation message that your reading has been stored you're ready to disconnect your sample hose sample tubing just be gentle um, and then at this point regardless of if you're taking another reading or if, if you're taking just shutting the machine down you'll want to run another clean air purge allowing the gases to restabilize and using a clean sample filter of course and after that you're ready to shut the device down that sums it up and thank you guys for watching